Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. We're about to go to our very first NFL football game as a family. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Atlanta Falcons inside the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We just wanted to hit record and bring you inside the stadium with us and let you join in and see what is it like to go to an NFL game here in Atlanta. So without further ado, let the adventure begin. Walking to the stadium, we are passing by the College Football Hall of Fame. Maybe we'll come back and do a tour video of that place in the future. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been there or would like to go there. And across from the College Football Hall of Fame, you have Centennial Olympic Park that we'll have to come back and enjoy on another day. You can see the wheel over to the right. Now, Bree and I have been to numerous NFL games, especially down in Tampa to watch the Bucks, but this is the first time either of us have ever been in this stadium, so I'm kind of excited to go explore it. Just to give you a heads up, inside the stadium in the area we're about to head to can be very loud at times, so if yourself or your little ones could use some ear protection, definitely bring that. And we're gonna head over down here to this tailgate area and as we did, they were throwing out some goodies. So I gotta catch one. Here you go, Micah. We got one and we're so excited to see. What could it be? What is it that we just caught? And it's a Falcons t-shirt, wah wah. No, just kidding. We, we're actually, he's wearing it right now. Fun little take home from the event. Hannah decided to give her shot at the barbells and she was able to lift it. And I gotta show him how a dad does it one-handed while yawning. <laughs> and it's a little fun area to play around. I had this guy over here you could come take a photo with, but we would not take a photo with the Falcons logo. No way. But they have a great little area for kids, some cornhole, and they had a free face painting. This whole area was sponsored by the Home Depot. So Hannah asked for a Buccaneers logo, which is what they were happy to do. So Hannah is now officially ready for the big game. And speaking of games, Micah had to try to get the football in. He takes his shot and first try makes it in. So we got to try some fun games before we headed into the big game. So there is a look at the Home Depot backyard pregame festivities. Now, we're gonna head in the stadium. I said right foot creep, boom, walking with it, eat me. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see A little pregame dance party and this giant falcon in front of the stadium. They're giving away towels. Rise up, how about rise down today? That would be a good thing. <laughs> It is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, so you can come in and check out a new Mercedes-Benz. You can see lots of history of Georgia football on this wall over here. Up to the 300 section we go. Nosebleed incoming. We've made it into the stadium. All right, here goes Tom Brady, warming up. Here's a look at the view from our seats in section 342. This is row 26 which is all the way at the top. There were some seats that could pull out. They never did utilize those. So we're pretty much up at the top on the visitor side here inside the Mercedes-Benz Stadium as Bree and the kids went to get some food. They do have a good deal on these souvenir cups that were only $4 and you can refill throughout the game at no additional cost. 
They also had slices of pizza for $3 each. Everyone kind of described them as okay. They weren't terrible, they weren't great. Hannah got this nacho bowl. This was $9, said was pretty good, but this was probably our favorite thing. Just good old classic $3 nachos we enjoyed while watching the game. The price on these seats were great. The only downside was part of the screen up above was a little bit obstructed as you can see at the top of the video. Something to keep in mind for anybody watching this video trying to determine where they want to sit. But that in mind, here come our Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah! Freddy Falcon is up in the nest. Oh, there he is. momentum here. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, come on, Bucks. We got it. The first down. All right, let's go touchdown. Get it, get it, get it. Don't let him in. That's the pass. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Those guys have amazing arm strength. They make it look easy, but I know that's hard. All right, let's tie this game up with this field goal right here. It is good. <laughs> uh, this guy's great. For those of you who don't follow sports, the talk of the week was, will Tom Brady and the starters play at all this game? And if so, how much as they already secured a playoff game against the Dallas Cowboys and is this Tom Brady's last regular season football game as a Buccaneer or will he continue to play or retire what do you think let me know in the comments Brady is out Gabbert is in let's see what he can do oh so close come on Bucks get in there get in there catch it yes he got it 
Touchdown, Buccaneers! Woo-hoo! So that was not a Tom Brady touchdown as he is on the sidelines getting ready for next week's playoff game. And it's halftime. Bucks are winning 17 to 10. Halftime, we got to watch some wiener dog races, which was pretty fun to do. The first round, on your marks, get set, go. And only one dog decided to go as the others were easily distracted, especially this one dog got very distracted by Freddy the Falcon as they had a stare down here. Here goes the championship round. for Dippin' Dots. I noticed uh, Warwick Dunn, he was a Buccaneer. Operation Dippin' Dots is a success. The Bucks went on to lose the game in the second half, but we still had a fantastic time together as a family. Hopefully you find this video helpful if you're looking at coming to a game at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, or you just enjoyed coming along with us on this adventure together as a family. If you did, do us a huge favor, hit that like button down below on this video and consider subscribing as we have a lot more adventures planned this upcoming year and we'd love to have you join us but again thanks so much for watching let us know in the comments who is your favorite team that you like to cheer for and have you ever been to this stadium we'll see you guys on the next adventure